Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you an Asian style of cabbage salad. Now I don't want to give any particular country of origin because this is just kind of inspired of Asian flavors. So first things first, it's going to have cabbage, some zucchini, some carrot, I've picked some beautiful kale leaves out of my garden and I have some radishes that I just pulled from the garden as well as a little pepper and we're going to make a beautiful dressing for it. So first things first, let's get these veggies ready. I have my cabbage here and I'm just going to um, shred it basically. I'm going to cut it in quarters, cut that core out and then I'm going to slice it into really thin strips. Save your core for um, in a resealable bag in the freezer. Hi mom. Hi. In, in the freezer so that you can use it in, for the future use of soups and stocks, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to cut that bottom end off. You love an Asian food. I love it. <laughs> I don't cook it a lot. No. So I'm just going to slice it nice and thinly. I love using the purple cabbage because it's so pretty with the white and purple. It's beautiful in there. When it's raw, you know, even when it's cooked, it does retain that color, but it's mm -hmm. just so beautiful when it's raw. Mm -hmm. This is sort of like an Asian style coleslaw, I guess, minus the creamy stuff. Yeah, coleslaw is a salad. <laughs> yep, that's right. So just break up those pieces so that they're not all in those um, whole slabs, you know, they come. You have to separate them a little bit. So good too. Mm -hmm. Crunchy. Oh. And this is a salad that'll keep nicely in your refrigerator mm -hmm. for the next day or two. It's almost like it um, cures the yeah. salad. Well, as long as there isn't uh, mayo in it, you're you're good. Yep. It'll keep for a while. Mom's just separating it out for me. Cabbage is so good for you, and it's mm -hmm. really a great vegetable to eat raw. Oh, for a snack. Mm -hmm. It's better than some of the things we eat for snacks. That's right. That's right. Now you can use any kind of cabbage you like for this. If you want to use <clears throat> a Napa cabbage or a green cabbage or Savoy or any of those varieties, feel free to do so. I just wanted to see some purple today. Okay. Now this is about a half of a cubanelle pepper. You can use any peppers you like. I'm just going to slice it into chunks. That beautiful, that green color looks so oh, pretty. Wow. The chartreuse with the uh, purple. Look at that color. <laughs> if you're gonna make a salad, make it pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, salads don't have to be boring, that's for sure. Now, I just picked some Russian kale out of my garden, a couple leaves, and I'm just going to slice them up, actually. Actually, I might just tear it. No, I'm gonna slice them up, just like the cabbage. And that's how we're gonna roll. So these are nice and, and freshly washed. And I'm just gonna shred this. Almost a chiffonade. Ooh, I like it. And I might not need it all. I just might need some. You like that? Mm -hmm. That's from our garden, Mom. Mm -hmm. It's our first harvest of it. Okay, mm -hmm. mix that through for me, Mom, if you would. Mom's using her hands today. My hands are clean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take the rest of this off and actually use it. I don't want to use all the stem, but keep those stems alongside that core of the cabbage, and it's great for soups. Mm -hmm. Our kale grew so beautifully. Yes, it did. So tall. I'm just gonna bunch it up, roll it up, and cut it nice and thin. Lovely, boy, that looks nice. Mm, that's beautiful, Kim. <laughs> you like that? Mm -hmm. one? Now I'm gonna peel my carrot today. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but today I'm going to. Our dogs will be happy. They love mm -hmm. these little carrot peels. <laughs> now, I'm going to grate my carrot today. Sometimes I just use my peeler and peel it in, but I'm going to make quick work of this today with a grater. The orange is going to be so pretty in there as well. Yes. And I'm also using zucchini today. I'm going to cut the top off, and I'm not going to peel this because there's lots of nutrients in here, and it's nice and soft. And I'm going to grate this as well. So fast. Yeah. That makes it uh, look kind of Asian. Yes. It's got the little strips. It looks nice. So I'm going to into the salad it goes. Mom's oh, going to mix it all that's through. Awesome. Look at that. Look how pretty they are. With the green bits of the, of the zucchini. Yeah. It's nice not to peel it because it gives such nice color. Oh, that's gorgeous. I used almost the whole zucchini, but probably three quarters of it. Mm. Okay, so I have these gorgeous radishes from my garden as well. And I'm going to save the greens 
for a side dish later this week as we continue to eat radishes. But I'm just gonna cut that top, actually I'm gonna leave that top bit on so I can grate it easier. I'm gonna cut that bottom bit off. That can be saved too for soups. And I just have three of them. If you have more, go on and use more if you want to. But uh, I think that's sufficient. I'm gonna make sure I rinse these off even better. Yeah. <laughs> When you just pull them out of the ground, they fool you. They got all these little nicks of crannies. Now, instead of peeling these, we're going to keep the skins on, and it's going to look so pretty. Mm -hmm. So just be careful with these because they're not as big as those other veggies. So it'll give you just a nice little peppery bite. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to save these leaves in a resealable Ziploc in my refrigerator so that I can make uh, radish greens this week. Oh, it smells so good. Radish greens make a lovely uh, side dish. Oh, yes. You could even put these in the salad today, but I'm gonna hold off. Oh, they smell peppery. Don't they? It has such nice crop this year, everything. So, into the salad, look how pretty. Gorgeous. Right? Yeah. Nice salad. This is um, sort of an Asian style salad, uh, as I did that uh, Curtido de Repollo, mm -hmm. the uh, Salvadorian um, mm -hmm. style salad. It's just more Asian flavors, but it's sort of the same idea, mm -hmm. right? Oh, I love the, um, that looks so pretty, the, on top, the radishes, mmm, mm, they're so good. And you know, sometimes you feel like you can't really eat a cabbage because you might be a little hard on your stomach, but when they're in these little tiny pieces, they're adorable. They're, they're really adorable. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful it looks so far. Nice, right? Mmm, just a little bit of pepper, that's called. <laughs> I'm like, eating your salad. That's okay. It's, you're supposed to. So I have some fresh parsley. If I had cilantro in my garden, I would also use that. So I'm just going to use a little bit of celery. Or sorry, parsley. Mince it up really well. This is all going to get um, tossed nicely with that dressing. Mm -hmm. So for right now, we're good with these layers. Yeah, look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. So you might be wondering where the onion and garlic is. Feel free to add it if you want to. We're not adding onion and garlic tonight because not everyone likes onion and garlic. So we're rolling like this. If you want to, go ahead. Chives would be perfect in here mm -hmm. or green onions or scallions. A little bit of minced garlic. Beautiful salad, right? Lovely. Look at all that healthy stuff in there. Okay, it's time for the dressing, Mom. And I'm gonna start with um, just grating up some ginger here, a nice little nub, but I'm gonna use the much smaller grate um, for this because mm -hmm. I want it to be real fine. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually gonna leave the skin on because it has lots of nutrients and sure. it's gonna be so fine in there that you won't even notice. I think I'm gonna use probably, I don't know, a good table, or sorry, a good teaspoon yeah. of this. It smells so yummy. Mm -hmm. Love the smell of ginger. Me too. So that was about a one inch nub. Mm -hmm. I think that I grated up, basically. Mm, that's smell. <laughs> okay, and into my bowl goes. I would say that's a good heaping teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, we were juicing earlier, and I have a half of a lime left, and I'm going to use it just because I have it already done. If you want to use lime, you can. I'm also going to use some rice vinegar, and that's going to um, give us the rest of the acid that we need. But I'd like this little bit of... Um, Oh, the lime, lime. Juice would be good in there. Now, if you did all lime, it would be more of kind of like a Thai salad, and you could even put peanut, mm -hmm. peanut butter in there and uh, stuff of that nature. But uh, this is good. This is why I said it's just Asian you because just want it's a kind of, hint of Asian. yeah, it's Asian on many fronts. It's so it's uh, such a wide variety of Asian recipes. Mm -hmm. I mean, out of this world, tons mm -hmm. of them. So this is just Asian inspired can't give credit to one group. Yeah, just like everything else, I'm sure everybody's got their own little, every Asian family has their own favorite dressing. That That's right. Make. That's right. All the same stuff goes in, but just different. I like my stuff spicy. We're using a little bit of sriracha sauce. If you've never seen sriracha, you can get it at your Asian market, even at your grocer nowadays. So I'm going to use maybe a teaspoon of that. It's nice and spicy. Make sure you check out our review on it as well. A lot, yes. Now I've freshly cracked up some black pepper and that's going to go in even though that spice of the chilies, it's not the same as pepper. No. So um, I also add that. Instead of using salt tonight, we're going to use um, soy sauce. I'm going to use about a tablespoon, I'd say. I'm just going to eyeball. That's your salt. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use some rice vinegar, maybe 
a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to add some oil. You can use canola oil, you can use grapeseed oil. I'm using more of a, a, a flavorless oil. I just want it to coat, right? I want to mix everything up and have it coat. And I'm also going to use a little bit of hint of a sesame oil just at the end, a little bit of that. So I'm going to use probably two tablespoons of this. Yeah. We're going to do a taste test to make sure. And we're going to add a couple drops of sesame oil. Now sesame oil isn't cooked, you don't use it to cook with. You use it as a finishing. Um, type of oil. It's intense. It's very intense and you only need a couple drops of it. If you put more than that in, it's just so overpowering. It's all you taste. So just a couple drops. I'd say that's good. Now, we're going to mix this through. Oh, I need some sugar. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so a lot of Asian recipes, they use just white sugar in their dressing. A lot of uh, people do. Uh, you can use other sugars if you want to. You can use honey, you can use agave nectar, you can use jams and things of that nature. We're going very simple tonight with sugar. I'm going to use uh, maybe a teaspoon of sugar and then we're going to taste test and see how that all is. So I'm going to whisk this up. Mom, would you like to do the honors? Mm -hmm. Sugar. We're going to use just a little bit more sugar, maybe two teaspoons worth. You don't want it to be really, really sweet, no, no. but you just want it to be nice and balanced. That's what you're looking for. So make sure that your sugar is all the way dissolved, or you won't get a true taste test. Now let's taste test this. Try that. Mm. Much better. That's nice. It's nice and spicy. Mm. That ginger is really nice. Mm -hmm. Mmm, it's tangy and it's a little bit sweet. It's everything you want it to be. It's just right. Beautiful. It's just right. Okay, so this is a gorgeous, gorgeous salad. That's what it looks like. And I'm about to toss it with our ginger sesame um, dressing. You can't really see it. It's nice and dark, dark color. Beautiful. All right, so that should be about enough for the whole slew of it because mm -hmm. it's a nice, intense dressing. Just give it a little bath. Yep, there. I'm going to just toss it oh. all together. You can see how this would be really good with minced garlic as well, right? Would you do the honors of tossing sure. it together? Sure. It looks lovely. Would oh. you like to try some in a bowl? Oh, sure. Just get all those flavors all combined. Every little piece of cabbage gets a little splash of It looks lovely. Would you oh. like to try some in a bowl? Oh, sure. Look at that. I love this, uh, these uh, salad uh, chunks here. Yeah, they're cool. They're cool. They're really good. You can really get in there and turn the stuff around. Now I see that we have just enough to coat oh, all of God. the little pieces. That it's all glossy. It's nice and, and glossy. So I'm going to mm. show it to you now that it's all tossed in. So now you can see it's all nice and glossy. It's ready to go. Mm. If you need a little bit more, just mix up a tiny bit more. So let's try this, Mom. Mm -hmm. Here's your chopsticks. Oh, thank you. Now that we're going to serve this alongside um, some chicken tonight, but it would be nice with pork, right? Yes. Or any other beef, even. Be super nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a beautiful salad. Look at Gorgeous. that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, if you really wanted yes. to, you could put some roasted, um, crushed up peanuts on top of that. Yes. It would be fantastic. Yeah. Or you could toast up some some um, some seeds. sesame seeds, yeah. and it would be really nice on top. I love that too. Let's do it. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 Kimmy, mm -mm. that's so good. Mm hmm. It's not overpowered by the dressing. The dressing just complements the vegetables perfectly. Mm. It coats them. A little bit sweet, a little bit tangy, a little bit spicy. Mmm. That's a great salad. You can just tell that's healthy for you. Yep. Mmm. I really like that. The radishes, you can sneak them in there. Mmm. Ginger. Mmm. Really, really nice. And as this sits for a little while, I mean, we're going to eat in a couple of hours. So you can serve it fresh like this right away, or you can let it sit and, and soak in those flavors for a little while, right? Mm -hmm. Before dinner. A couple hours. Mmm. Mm. Just absorb all that dressing. That is such a nice salad. Mm. Mm. And the kale is nice in there, and I like that we chiffonade, made a chiffonade instead of tearing it. The, everything is just the same size and proportions. Beautiful. 
If you wanted to, you can also serve this with extra soy sauce at the table and extra vinegar mm -hmm. if people want to spray it on. Also, they can. Um, you can also serve it with wedges of lime, right? And people can put That's it on That's a good there. idea too. As they, as they see That's it. how you do it. That's how you make an Asian-inspired um, cabbage salad. This has a gorgeous ginger and sesame uh, dressing on it. Beautiful. It's almost like an Asian slaw minus anything creamy, mm -hmm. right? Beautiful, very healthy for you. Great way to use up your ingredients from your garden. Really happy about that. The kale yes. is really great in there. Mm. It's a so nice. It's it almost tastes like arugula. It's got mm. a little peppery flavor. So good. The whole key to this salad is keeping everything the same sizes and proportions. So just shred it, keep it nice and skinny, and all is well. It's beautiful on your plate. And yes, it looks beautiful. It is really beautiful. Really proud to bring that to the table. Yes, yes, ma'am. Gorgeous. Yes, ma'am. So make sure you try it, experiment with different ingredients, try a different dressing, whatever. Check out Mom's website at IngridTurnerToday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is CookingWithKimberly.com. This show is brought to you by Bam Niagara Boxing Club. Don't hate, get in shape. Make sure you register for classes at BamNiagara.ca. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye-bye.